So uh, the way I think the, the, the best way to explain this, uh, I, I don't know the best way to explain it, but I think a good way to explain this uh, is to just show an example. And as we do the example, we'll go through uh, the details of each step. So um, uh, you'll recall that step one was to uh, discretize the domain. Discretize the domain. Sheesh. Discretize the domain. Uh, Okay, well, first, first let's introduce the problem. So the problem is uh, we're just going to use a simple, um, a simple problem. So the second, well, we'd, we'll just use an ordinary differential equation. So um, d squared of t uh, dx, um, so the second derivative of temperature with respect to x is equal to negative f of x. So what is this? So this is a heated rod. So let's, um, so we have the simple example where we have this rod. Um, switch color, make the rod purple. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Um, all right, so we have a rod, and this rod, um, it's it's even. Um, even thickness, <laughs> even though you can't tell from my drawing, and uh, this is a radioactive rod. So maybe this is like a, maybe this is like a in a a, um, a nuclear reactor or something because this rod is um, is generating heat everywhere along the rod. Um, there's a heat source uh, along the rod, and the ends are are held at, at fixed temperatures. And so, let's say this is this is going to be T1 here. And this is T2 here. All right, so that's um, so that's the problem. And and T1 is known, and T2 is known. Uh, okay, so uh, as I said, the first step is to discretize the domain. What we're going to do is simply chop this up into pieces. So uh, we can just chop this up into four pieces. So we'll um, we'll just put uh, three, one, two, three. Uh, and again, for this method, uh, these pieces actually, uh, I don't believe, have to be the same size. But we're going to we're going to make them all the same size because there's no reason not to. And so um, I'm just going to rewrite this up here. All right. And so this this direction I'm going to call x, right? And so this will be x. Um, 1, x2, x, well, uh, let's call this x0, x0, x1, x2, x3, and x4. All right, there we go. So that is our problem. And this temperature is going to do something, and we don't know what it is. Um, but but the rod is heating up all along the the surface. That's that's represented by this this f of x. And okay, so that's it. That's discretizing the domain. Um, just a comment here. Okay, so in this problem, it was really easy. Uh, we just discretized it like this. Um, for a uh, for a different problem, um, we might have a, a little bit different way of discretizing it. Let me show an example. All right, so here's an example. Um, right here. Uh, this is a problem that they're doing uh, electromagnetic, uh, an electromagnetic finite element uh, problem. So anyway, so just, just to let you see a little bit uh, what meshes tend to look like when you use the finite element method on, on, on real big problems. But of course, uh, as I mentioned, um, for this problem, for now, we're just going to stick with a simple discretization. But, uh, but the point is, um, that it's really important to see that you can you can use much much more complex meshes uh, which weren't possible uh, with the finite difference method.